Alright, well, FBXW, the in the hot seat champion has arrived. Now with this, this is going to be a very special holiday in this abandoned house. And I'm awaiting the arrival of, well, what could be the return of a special tag team with the creeper i haven't heard from him yet but we are going to talk about it all and i have a very special gift and we'll see if the creeper remembers because will if you see it right here will the ncc come back as a tag team that's what we're all going to figure out. So, whenever the creeper arrives, we'll find out. I assume he's here. You are here in my domain, a place <laughs> you shouldn't be because instead of focusing your attention on the international championship of the FBXW, you chose to go out of your way to seek me out and after weeks and weeks and weeks of having my name in your pretty little mouth you're here you are here it took a lot of guts for you to be here David, David, David. What are we going to do with you? What are we going to do with you? And I see you have an old ancient relic from the forbidden archives of the past. Where did you dig that up, David? Was that in your closet? Did Grandma iron that for you before you showed up? Well, I still had this as a memory, and that's why I'm here. That's right what it is, David. It's nothing but a memory. So what is it? You have been calling me out for weeks upon weeks upon weeks. What is it that you want, David? What do you want from one half? of justice it's funny that you should ask that well now that we're finally here it's the season of giving and i decided to have it be a warm welcome <laughs> the season of giving the season of giving it's a wonderful time. tell me why i shouldn't be handing you the beating of a lifetime to you, David, why shouldn't I be here kicking your fucking ass? Well, let's look at it this way. Let's start from the beginning. Yes, let's start. It's always good to start from the beginning because nobody likes to start in the middle or the end because then the end leads to spoilers, doesn't it? We don't have spoiler alerts here. Not while I'm around just as much. So, without further ado, of course, everybody knows the story in the beginning where we became a tag team 
and this had it be going into well the first ever tag team championship titles since I was your first partner besides when you came with your second partner in justice that's right and now let me ask you something David Go do right you know ahead. do you know why me and Rock Roberts are the way we are well I know you want to be a part of the law you want to be able to write things that are going on wrong in this company no 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 you are wrong David I'm ashamed of you what have I said this whole freaking time I am the way I am because of you I am because I am the way I am because you abandoned me Nobody was with Rock Roberts, and our careers were dead in the water. And so, it became relevant that me and Rock Roberts decided to take things upon ourselves because management, oh management, wherefore art thou freaking management? Well, they decided to always pin me with Rock Roberts as opponents. Hmm. And the problem is, is that I was getting sick of kicking his ass. So instead of kicking his ass, I decided to team up with his fat ass. By the way, no offense to you, Rock Roberts. You're a great competitor. You're the big guy. You're the sheriff. You are just us. But I digress. So, me and Rock Roberts, we had a common bond. A common bond that we both share. Our careers were dead in the water. And what happened? I led us both to the FBXW Tag Team Championship. Very well said. So, that brings me into the next point on why I was able to leave you. Now, there's been a lot going on with me even since then and people wanted to see <laughs> and how I can be able to hold my own. So that's why I was able to prove that I'm not a coattail rider. You're not a coattail rider? Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure of that and it led me to having can this. Like That's a fake title, and you know it. You brought that in. You brought that in because you want it to be relevant, because you need a belt to be relevant! Well, that's the whole point, because I can actually, at any point in time, even if you want to face me for this title. Oh, that title is going to be coming home with me. I promise you, David, it will come home with me, but so proceed with your argument as to why you can't seem to keep my name out of your mouth. Well, that brings to the most recent happenings in FBXW. Well, it's very appropriate that it's basically night and there's no light around really. and. FBXW kind of went through a little personality type of change. They did. So it started and then it continued and then things kind of went a little haywire, a little crazy if you say, if you want to put it that way. So I think we have a common goal of what's been going on, especially management. Management? You want to talk about management. <laughs> it's a crazy life. You want to talk about management. Management doesn't know half of what they are doing. Mm, no. They don't know what they're doing and why. Because they're scared of Crow the freaking Omega. Sting, the Brit Winger. He's scared. 
He's scared of the wrong person. He should be scared of just us. He should be scared about what just us can do. And you know what? I'm very unpredictable. I'm unpredictable, aren't I? You can be. Yeah, we've seen that, definitely for sure, and it can be pretty intense. It can. Kind of scares me a little bit, too, but... <laughs> hey. The river monster scared. Imagine that! Imagine that! That's why I'm only human. So, that brings me to my next point. Now, a while back, my cousin was able to be... Oh, your cousin? Is that what you call him? Indeed, we are family, the PRP, the Puerto Rican Punisher. The he, PRP. He was trying to bring in some joy, some fun times, you know, celebrate, whatever have you. And celebrate. Now, now we don't see him anymore. We don't see him anymore, and why? Hmm. Tell us why! Tell us why! You know the truth, I know the truth, I had the PRP's mask at one point. So why don't you come clean? Come clean, David. Come clean. Oh, well, like I said, we're family, but we did see an interesting twist. Because they weren't about, you know, the PRP. They were blaming, and then they were trying to come up with ways that they thought it was me under the mask, where you even made fun of the PRP for being in a mask, and it's kind of ironic that you are now in a mask. Do you want to know why I'm in a mask, David? You're welcome did to you? feel free to tell me. DID YOU NOT SEE WHAT MARK KENNEDY DID TO ME?! YOU STUPID SON OF A BITCH! DID YOU NOT SEE WHAT HE DID TO ME?! HE BRUTALIZED ME! HE ACCOSTED ME! SO THAT IS WHY I WEAR THIS, THIS MASK! That's pretty messed David, up. there's a beast in me. A beast that no one wants to see. And all this time, you have told me to man up. That you want to see me without this. WHY?! Well, I know you're more than that. You don't have to hide behind a mask. You showed <laughs> what you can do without the mask. <laughs> what time... What time of the year is it, David? Hmm, it's the holiday season. It's almost Christmas The holiday time. season. Christmas is here. Christmas. That means Santa Claus. That means presents. That means mm -hmm. goodwill and goodwill towards men and cheer. Do you want to know what's wrong with me, David? Do you want to know what's wrong with me? Do you You're really want to know what's wrong with me? I get left behind! Look around! Is there anybody to say Merry Christmas to me? No! My family abandons me. My friends abandon me. I am in a state. A state that no one knows my name. A state that no one cares. I am in my own my own case, my own box of emotion, and that emotion is bad! It runs deep. I have nobody! Nobody! Nobody to hug! Nobody to kiss! Nobody to say Merry Christmas to! Because my tag team partner is it his state talking about Christmas? He has somebody to love him. There is nobody that loves the Creeper. Nobody. Well, Do you know how much that hurts? And then my best friend, my brother, you, you abandoned me. Why? Why? For your own selfish reasons. So you can bring in your cousin. Your supposed cousin. The Puerto Rican pisshead. 
And that is why I am the way I am. And you want this thing off of me, David. You may not like what you see. You may not like what you see! Well, I've seen a lot worse and there's been a lot of things going on just as much between us. So that's why I also had another friend in Mr. C.O. Styles. And that's why he was able to reach out to bring us together. And where is he now? Where is he to protect you? He's not around, David. He's not around because you, you are in my realm. So, what's it going to be, David? Do you want to see me? Without this mask, do you want to see the hurt? Do you want to see the solace? Do you want to see the pain? Well, think about it, David. Think about what you're asking me. Think about what you're asking yourself. Well, this is what I have in mind. See, with this whole thing, this whole charade, if you will, that's been going on in FBXW. And I'll let you decide and to be able not only to bring just us, but the NCC together as a cohesive unit with all the shenanigans that's been going on, especially... No, David, management. you tell me straight. Do you want to see the hurt, the anger, the frustration, the soullessness that I live with day in and day out? Just say yes or no. Oh, this is what we're here for. To have a man. Is this an intervention, David? Well, it's not exactly that. This is coming back together and having a formation. That's what the trees have to say. Say yes or no. Do you want to see? The hurt, the pain, and the hostility. Just say yes or no. Yes. More better. No, it doesn't. As a matter of fact, what do you really want, David? What do you want? Well, since we have this here, I will have this. And another offer and another opportunity to show what we really are about. Forget about writing in the shadows and anything else like that. This will be a whole new, different kind of change. Really? So you, David, you expect this. He wants this! He does! <laughs> he wants this! That's what it's all about. That's the reason why we are here for this opportunity to make a change in FBXW. A new beginning. A fresh new start. David, what you need to know Why don't you man up? You're always asking me to man up. Why don't you, for once in your pathetic life, apologize to me for leaving me, for abandoning me, to know that you were wrong? 
touche. I mean, you are man enough to unmask. You show this the world that who you can really be. This is just the start. So with that, I might even give you this because I feel like in a giving mood. So I do apologize for everything that I have done. And this can only make things a lot more interesting. I'm willing to put everything aside. I'm willing to even prove, even with going into my next match for the International Championship. You've come a long way, David. And to that, I will give you credit for admitting that you were wrong. But what I want you to understand is that what has been forgiven will not be forgotten. The NCC still remains six feet under for now. David, I don't hate you anymore, but I don't love you. And what you need to know is that I'm going to think about it. I think I can drink to that too.